as I've mentioned many times in the past, my full-time job is a firefighter. Uh, so I work, uh, my department has a 24 on 48 hour shift, 48 hour off shift. So I work 24 hours. I work from 8 a.m. one day to 8 a.m. the next day. And then I have two days off. I have 48 hours before I have to go back in. This is a great schedule. I love it. Um, the problem is sometimes you forget what day it is. Uh, so if I want to know what today's shift was, I wrote a little script. Uh, and this is great uh, for if you're creating some sort of calendar, just a, a script, a program uh, to show what today's shift is. And when I run it, it's going to tell me that today is B shift, which is true because I got off this morning. So right now is B shift because it goes A, B, C. Let's go ahead and look at this script real quick. It's a simple bash script. And uh, it could definitely be cleaned up a little bit, but it works how it works and it's not very long, works how it is. Uh, basically, I've created a date for A, B, and C, and I had to give it a date uh, that I knew was an A shift, a B shift, and a C shift. So I picked a date uh, right here of 2020, 2013. I actually wrote this script a long time ago, but I've used it a number of times. I know that this day was an A shift. This day was a B shift, this day was a C shift. Really, I should have only had to put that one date in, and then for B and C shift, I could have added uh, the number of seconds I needed to get to that next day, but it was just easy enough to copy and paste this in here. But we're not just getting that date, we're getting that date in seconds. Uh, so epoch time, number of seconds since 1970, so January 1st, 1970 at midnight. That's how many seconds it's been, that's important. Then I got today's date. Why I did it this way, I'm not really sure, because I should have just gotten it as seconds because the next command I do convert to seconds. So again, this script could be cleaned up a little bit, but basically I'm getting these dates and I'm getting them in seconds and I'm getting this date in seconds since 1970, January 1st at midnight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that date, uh, the today's date, I'm gonna subtract the number of seconds from the original date. So it's an older date, so it's a smaller number, so I should get a positive number. Then I'm gonna divide it by 24 times uh, 3,600, 3,600, uh, that's the number of seconds in an hour. And then we're multiply that 24. So we're getting the number of seconds in a 24 hour period. So then what we're doing is here we're doing percent three. What that does is it divides it and tells us if there's a remainder. So when we do this, it's going to go, then we're going to check if it is divisible by three, that means that it is that day. Does that make sense? I sure hope so. So uh, basically we're gonna get that for A, B, and C. And then we're gonna check, is A zero, is B zero, is C zero? Again, meaning that there's no remainder, meaning it's evenly divisible by three. If it's evenly divisible by three, uh, because it's a three day shift, then we know that it's that day. So we're saying, okay, if A, whatever we calculate out up here, equals zero, then we're echoing that today is A shift. If B equals zero, then we're echoing out today as B shift. And if C is zero, then we're echoing out today as a C shift. And that should always work, at least for a schedule like this. Might be a little more complicated uh, if you have, there are other types of firefighter schedules, 12 hours here, you work a number of 12 hours, then you have a certain number of days off. Um, some people work uh, 48 hours, then have 72 off. It's all types of different stuff. Uh, but for my schedule, this works. Short and simple, could be shortened up a little bit more, but works as is, and I've used it a number of times in different programs, and I've done it in different languages because the same concept applies, because it's just basically doing math. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K, there's a link in the description. If you enjoy my videos, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, supporting me in the sports section on my website, Patreon, PayPal, uh, LibrePay, which no one's ever given me money there, but that's there. Uh, I do thank you for watching. And I hope that you have a great day. Again, the script is in the link in the description, if I don't forget. <laughs> have a great day.